Hey, Elvis Cup guy here. This video that you're watching now is a combination, culmination of a few different clips, but stay tuned until the very end. Please make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I have a special Elvis related clip at the end, but watch all the other stuff until you get to the end because man, everything on here is a trip. So check it out. Hey everybody, this is the Elvis Cup guy here and I am with, I just caught this dude outside jamming on the guitar. His name is Anthony Southgate. Southgate. Yeah, Anthony Southgate. And he's gonna uh, hopefully just play us a little something. Anthony, whatever you're comfortable with, if you don't mind, just play us something on that jamming guitar. I heard you in the parking lot and I thought somebody had the radio on. And it's you. <laughs> so you hey, Anthony, do you mind playing just uh, some of you or something jamming that you can get down with and just is smooth and funky? Okay. Cup guy here stay tuned to the end of this video there is a lot more stuff that's going to be on this video so stay tuned to the end of this video there's a lot of neat stuff and a surprise clip so elvis cup guy check it out hey elvis cup guy here what the hell is going on i'm getting ready to go into the grocery store and what the shit is this hot damn the oscar meyer Wiener Mobile. Hey, look, somebody's getting ready to hit me, so hold up. Anyway, Oscar Meyer Wiener Mobile. You can better believe I'm going to be getting out in a second and filming this damn thing. Hold up. So, anyway, hang tight. Let me get a damn parking spot and I'm going to film this thing. So, anyway, give me a minute. God damn, this is cool as shit. And I think I'm going to park right behind the damn thing. So, anyway, Elvis Cup Guy in a parking lot of a damn grocery store in the Elvis Cup Mobile, and I'm gonna film this damn Wiener Mobile. Hell yeah, check it out. Hey Elvis Cup guy here, quick video. I'm out and about in the Elvis Cup Mobile, and you're not gonna believe what I ran into, not physically ran into, but ran into as far as seeing it while I was driving around the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. So, I'm going to back up here so you guys can see this, but here it is. A lot of people don't know that it's a real thing. I'm going to stand across the street so you can see it a little better. But there it is, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and the Elvis Cup Mobile. Same spot. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually uh, see it up close. But there it is, so hang tight, it's coming right now. 
second most famous mobile that's still active is the uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. So here we go. Get some nice rims on it. And you actually drive this thing. A lot of people don't even know that this thing is uh, a real deal, but it is. So here's the front of it. Here's the people that are uh, been operating the booth here for the Oscar Mayer uh, Wiener Mobile. So, Miss, what's going on here? Oh, I'm just spinning the prize wheel. Can I do it? Do you mind? Yeah. Right, all right, I'm doing a little video here, sorry. All right, so this is uh, the prize wheel for the Wienermobile. All right, and I get a lanyard. Okay, thank you so much. And here's one last good shot before I cut out of here the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and the Elvis Cup guy, Elvis Cup Mobile, right behind it. And there's the free stuff I got with it, a cup and something else in here. So anyway, this is the Elvis, hold up, let me turn around. No, uh, this is the Elvis Cup guy and that is the Elvis, um, the Elvis Cup car, Elvis Cup Mobile and the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Hey, Elvis Cup guy here. Keep watching. There's more coming up. Stay tuned. There are some more interesting clips in this video. Okay, as promised, this is the end of the video. Well, almost the end, but basically the end. And like I mentioned earlier in this vid, I have a special Elvis-related treat for you guys. And I've shown it before, but it's been a while, and I don't think I've shown it before in this setting with this kind of light. So, here it is. What I'm going to show you is, hold up. Hold on. Let me get it. I've got a little prop here. Not a prop, but something to illustrate what I'm going to show you. A little photo album here. Okay. No, there's Elvis when I saw him get on the jet there. Uh, when he flew to Johnson City on... February 19th, 1977, on a Saturday. But anyway, that's not what I'm going to show you, okay? What I'm going to show you is, check out what Elvis is holding right there. You see it? See that cup, that styrofoam cup? Now remember, I am the Elvis cup guy. So there's a picture of Elvis holding a styrofoam cup. Hold on, I got more. I got a lot of damn pictures of Elvis from uh, Monday, February 21st, 1977. Uh, let me see, just so you can see what I'm looking at here. All right, you see that picture of Elvis holding a styrofoam cup? You see it, you see it, you see it. All right, let's find one more. Okay, here's, here's two good ones. There he is holding it with Charlie Hodge, who obviously, or apparently, had just handed it to Elvis. And there's Elvis holding the Styrofoam cup. Now, here, I'll let you guys just take that in for a second, okay? You see it? You see the Styrofoam cup that Elvis is holding? Well, I am the Elvis cup guy, and the reason I am called the Elvis cup guy, or I call myself, the Elvis Cup guy, I'm the self-proclaimed Elvis Cup guy, and here's why. Because in this briefcase right here, in this briefcase that you see right here, I've got something, all right? Uh, let me see my camera. I keep staring at this kind of funny because it's, the camera's kind of far away or the phone. And I just wanna make sure I've got this in focus. 
So, here's a briefcase. I've just unlatched the top, okay? And check out what's inside. Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like the damn styrofoam cup that Elvis Presley drank out of the night that I saw him and I got after the concert from the stage area, or not the stage area, on the damn stage, a policeman handed it to me. There is the cup that you just saw in those photographs and it's the cup that Elvis Presley drank from. And right after he drank from it, I managed to get a policeman to hand it to me. So I'm gonna take it out of its protective foam lined briefcase and show it to you. Hold on, let me kind of move just a little bit. Okay, here we go. You ready? There it is. There is the cup that Elvis Presley drank from on Monday, February 21st, 1977. I had the special Lucite case made for the cup, but here it is. And, and, there's Elvis holding the cup. So, there it is. That was a little surprise for all you people that, you know, uh, managed to sit through my videos, my live chats, all that other kind of stuff, and, and put up with me. And I appreciate everybody subscribing. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I put on a new video. But I appreciate all you people, you know, everybody. And even, you know, even uh, the ones of you that are kind of trolls and leave funny comments or you think they're funny, whatever, I don't care. You know, I take myself not too seriously. There's just a few things about Elvis I do take seriously. And that is I am the damn Elvis Cup guy because I've had this cup since I was 13 years old when I saw Elvis February 21st, 1977. I'm a huge Elvis fan. I don't consider myself an Elvis expert, but when you've been a fan since 1975 and it's 2022, you, too, you do tend to know some stuff, okay? So sorry about that. And uh, if I come across like, oh, he knows it all, or he thinks he's special because he saw Elvis twice. I saw him on February uh, 19th, 1977. I showed you in the photo. Get on his jet and fly to Johnson City. And oh, he thinks he's special because he saw Elvis in person walk on a stage and sing. Uh, well, guess what? I hate to say this, but I do think I am special that I did get to see Elvis and I think about it all the time. And thank goodness I had the sense back then to ask my parents for my birthday when I turned 13, hey, would you please get me a ticket to go see Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll in person, and they did. And so I do consider myself lucky. I do pat myself on the back, and I do feel honored that I got to see Elvis Presley in person twice with my own eyes. No, I do not have to go interview somebody and say, hey, what was it like to see Elvis? Or did you ever see Elvis? Or did you ever see Elvis get on his airplane? Or did you ever? Because I don't have to ask because I did. And I'm so fortunate. So anyway, I'm the Elvis Cup guy. And there is the cup that Elvis Presley drank out of that I got from the concert. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. There's just one of the little clip you're going to have to see right after this, but I am the Elvis Cup guy. All right, this is the Elvis Cup guy. Anthony's closing this thing out. Anthony's South Cape. I'm going to go in here to the church. We're getting something to drink. I already gave you some money. But anyway, the Elvis Cup guy, I'm out of here. Jam on, Anthony.